It's Angie Mason. Welcome back. Um, today I am going to be working on uh, two little five by seven uh, canvas panels um, that I got from my local art store, uh, Howard's Art and Frames in Hagerstown, Maryland. And um, every year, um, this is actually their 15th annual Art for the Animals fundraiser. Um, this is my fifth year, I think, of being in it. And um, so I got two panels and I'm going to go ahead and um, on the one I'm going to do um, a swipe and on the other I'm going to do <laughs> I'm going to try and do a ring pour with one of these little red solo shot glasses. So we'll see how that goes. I've never done anything on such a small canvas. <laughs> Should be interesting. So let me just go over our colors here real quick. Um, oh, and just to show you what I did, um, because of that, and you can't put push pins in these little guys, um, I'm gonna use my spinner. Can't use my chopsticks, unfortunately. I know I'm gonna disappoint everybody out there. <laughs> I'm disappointed too. I love my chopsticks. But um, so what I've done with my spinner is I didn't want this laying right on it. Of course, I always cover my spinner with uh, Glad Press and Seal. If you um, have never done that, it's, it's wonderful. I put it over top of my cups to keep my paints uh, from drying out and I cover my uh, spinner with it, it's just, it's great. And then cleanup is easy, you just tear it off and throw it away. Um, just a little tidbit there for you, it might help. And um, so I didn't want this laying down flat on here. So what I've done is I've got some small popsicle sticks. Um, I got uh, two each and taped them down um, to the spinner. And then I'm just gonna lay this on top so that the, paint will run off of it and not just pull and stick to the thing. So, okay, there we go. And um, so our first color I'm gonna show you, beautiful. This is Modern Masters, um, their metallic line. Um, it's Camel is the name of it. And it has a beautiful shimmer to it. Um, it's almost like a deep gold, really, but um, it's it's just gorgeous. Um, so that is that is camel. Looks like I might have had a goober in there. I'll have to stir that up real good. And okay, there we go. Yeah. And all of my paints today are mixed with Floetrol. Um, and. They're um, pretty thick, uh, not too thick. They're about a mound on a mound. Um, and then it starts to sink. Now this color is Golden's uh, Turquoise Thalo. Oh, love this color. I love them all, I don't know what I say. <laughs> all right, and then we have Golden's Green Gold. And again, just a mound on a mound, and then it just relaxes into the paint. Doesn't sink, but it just kind of levels out. Nice consistency. And then this guy is, um, it's a combination of several things. Um, it's got Artist Loft metallic purple in it, just, just a little bit, some leftovers and um, dioxazine purple by Liquitex Basics and um, a squirt of titanium white. Just, just to lighten it up a little bit. I don't want it 
drying so uh, dark that it's almost black, although that is beautiful. Um, just for this one, I kind of wanted a little bit lighter purple. And it has a slight shimmer to it. And then um, this is leftovers. It's titanium white and golden high flow um, iridescent pearl mixed together. And that gives a nice um, shimmer. It's, it's not so, uh, the white doesn't like scream at you. It makes it soft. And um, sometimes you get a little bit of dendrites, um, you know, in it. But when it's mixed with the paint, not too often. You usually have to use the high flow just directly on the paints to get those. And then we have um, this is Arteza Pearl Turquoise. Oh, God. You know what I'm gonna say. Love this color. Divine. All right. And then for the swipe, I also have my Amsterdam Oxide Black formula that is mixed with my Floetrol. Now, it is a, a little thinner um, than the main paints. And um, what you wanna do is make sure that when, when you pull your stick up, you'll see the, the paint bounce back almost like it's elastic. And I learned that from Gail Burston, Life and Splatters. Thank you, friend. Um, but that's when you know it's, it's a good formula that will um, make a nice swipe and nice lacing and cells. Okay, so we're gonna get started. Again, thank you all for being here. I love you all so much and uh, love and light to you and yours. And remember, always keep pouring until you're soaring.
that didn't quite work out. I, I don't know why. Um, it was the same formula that I've used on um, the canvases, the stretch canvases when I've done the swipes. Um, my hubby said maybe it might be that it's a canvas panel, maybe maybe the texture or something about, you know, that it's because it's a panel, it, it didn't show, it didn't swipe well and show cells. So I'm gonna scrape this little guy and we're gonna go with something else. <laughs> Not sure what yet, so we'll both be surprised. <laughs> Thanks for hanging in there with me.